Hello, and today we're going to install BT Sync, that's Bit, Bit Torrent Sync, uh, to uh, Linux Mint. Well, this this desktop is XFCE. First of all, we need to start up Firefox, and then uh, we're going to search for B, uh, Bit Torrent. And we're going to click here, BitTorrent, go to Products, and then down to Sync. Click on the link, get BitTorrent. Okay, and as you can see, they do it for lots of different desktops, mobiles, Linux, and even FreeBSD. So, uh, as my XFCE is 32-bit. I'm going to download a 32-bit, or you can download a 64. As you can see, you've got some basic uh, info here. Click Save File, uh, and you can you can look at this info. It gives it's a little out of date, but it's okay. Okay. So let's reduce that down. Okay. So we go to our downloads. And we can see we've downloaded the, the BitTorrent file. Alright, so what we need to do now, we need to go to our home and make a new folder. And we're going to make a new folder called uh, BT Sync. And I'm going to put a dot in front of that, a period or a full stop. And I click create. Press enter to create the folder and you can see the folder hasn't been created. Well, it has been created, it's a hidden folder. So press control plus H and that brings up your hidden files and hidden folders. Then go down to dot bt sync. Okay. That's the folder, and then we're going to just drag that over that file from downloads to there. And then we're going to go up and we're going to make another folder. And this is going to be our sync folder. This is the one we're going to use for BitTorrent Sync. Okay, there you go. So we've made a new folder that we're going to use for syncing between computers. Okay, so double go back here, double click on the file and then extract it. And it uh, brings out the, the files from the archive. Quit. All right, so this is the file that gets used. As you can see, it's only 3.7 megabytes. We need to start a terminal and then start with dot slash bt sync press enter and you can see that it's created some new files in the folder and it says that BitTorrent is forked to the background okay so this dot slash bit bt sync is the command you need to issue okay so we can close this folder And we we'll go back up to Firefox. <coughs> Excuse me. And we type in a local host. L O C A L H O S T. Call on 8888. So that's four eights. Press enter. And it brings up the BitTorrent Sync web page, web interface. Okay, then put your, your name and the password to access this page. And Firefox will ask you, does it, do you want to save? Click OK. And then click OK again for, for this. Okay, so you're now in the BitTorrent Sync interface. And uh, we need first thing we need to do is add a folder, I suppose. And this is the folder that we're going to use to sync our files back and forth across other computers. 
Okay, so first thing we're going to do is click generate, and this is our secret. This is our secret code. And then uh, go to path, and I'll click home, then your username, then the folder that you wish to sync. And click add, and it automatically adds a folder that you can use to sync. And there are a couple of settings that you can change. Uh, we're not going to change anything, just show you them. Uh, this is how you change your name, uh, and this is how you change your name and your new password. Uh, this, this is your, your secret code, and it's a QR code that you can use for your mobile. Uh, if you click, click on a cog from preferences, it gives you pretty much the same things again. Uh, click on advanced, and you can see that you can use different types of secrets that you can give out. You can give it a full access, read only, and a one-time secret. One-time secret you can give to someone who just give them a limited access for 24 hours. Or you can remove a folder. Okay, so let's reduce that down. So one way to do this is we go into documents and we copy some some documents over into our share folder. So I'll click Control C. Go back to the share folder, and then we can paste them in. Okay, so these are the the files that will be available in our sync. Don't worry about the the web page; it doesn't seem to sync um, uh, to update very quickly, whereas the files really do update quite quickly. Okay, so we've just installed it, and to make sure that uh, BT Sync is active all the time, on a restart even, uh, we type in start and then choose the session and start app. And you can see these are the items that are active, the ones with a tick on them or X on them. We're going to add an application and we give it a name, obviously BT Sync. And then a description, that's a plain English or description. So this is going to be a personal file syncing or sharing. And then we need to uh, add the the program that we want to start. Okay, so control H again. We'll bring up the hidden files and folders. Go to dot BT sync and then highlight the BT sync and OK. Click OK, and if we go down to the bottom, we can see that we've added it. Okay, so there we are. That's quite easy. Okay, here we are, and uh, this is my Cinnamon 64-bit desktop. So I'm going to copy this over, copy this. Okay, now, before we add the folder, we've got to add a folder. Okay, so uh, this is, uh, I'm going to put uh, SynSync. Okay, as you can see, it's a brand new folder, it's empty. Let's stick this over there so you can see it happening in uh, real time. So I need to add the Sin Sync folder and then add the key. Click Add, and you can see it's uh, sync in there and that's how fast it syncs okay so this is on obviously on a local network if it was uh, over the internet it would take a little bit longer okay so we have synced the remote desktop to this desktop um, and 
it works as easily as that. It is extremely simple to use. There's no need to set anything else up. You can do if you want to. Right. Uh, also, to uh, cut down on space use and doubling up on files and folders, you can actually add uh, links to other folders. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my documents file folder by pressing shift and control and drag and drop and that makes a shortcut into the sync folder so anything in my documents folder is now in my sync folder so back on the xfce computer this documents folder will show up double click on the documents folder and it'll go in and see all the other files inside so you don't even need to add single files to the sync folder just links if you want okay and uh, that's pretty much it it's easy